Hello. My name is. You can't even do that again, can you? No. We're going to your place. My name is Scott. Your name is Get out of here. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna do something that we've been, we've been waiting to do for a while. We didn't know it was an option. We just thought we're just gonna live with it. How many of you have these RV locks? They work very well. The only thing is, after a lot of use, they get worn out. And if you're constantly pressing the same ones, people might know what your code is. Now the good thing for us, all of these are worn, so no one has a clue what our code is. We're going to see how easy it is to replace this. Like I said, is we're going to replace the number pad. And this is all it is, guys. I mean, it's just a sticky number pad. So we're super excited because the only tools you're going to need is this and a knife. You're just going to get behind the sticker here. Not too much because there is a membrane back there, like a waterproof membrane. But it's basically... No, normally it's a little easier, but since there's a lot of pieces, rip, boom, look at that. So there's some leftovers here, and these white things are like soft rubber for waterproofing, so you really don't want to stab them. But what you want to do is just kind of rub your finger over everything, kind of get some of the glue off there, and if you use your nail, it comes right off. I've read some other directions and instructions and it doesn't say to use anything to clean, but since we have new sponsors of the channel, Camp Champ, we are gonna use their new all-purpose cleaner. You've seen our video of how well the Camp Champ Black Tank Odor Abate and Super Digest works. They are now making RV-specific all-purpose cleaner. Renee and I have been testing it for a while. It is amazing. So what I'm gonna do is just spray some of this on here and we'll just wipe this down. So there is glue and debris, you just wanna scratch it off. It comes off pretty easy to be honest with you. So I'm just kinda of cleaning it so there's no, my finger oils aren't all over the thing here. All right, I'm just gonna, that's pretty good there. Make sure there's no paper and let that dry for a second. Basically, it's just like this. All I'm gonna do the black piece is kind of sandwiched in there. This big piece is a backer. And I'm just gonna match it up. It only goes on one way. You can't put it on upside down. Boom. So. All right, it's locked. So the key thing is you want to make sure you hit the edges and make sure the edges are in the proper spots. You don't want any overlapping, overhanging areas because then weather will get into it. So now there's a clear film, which I probably should have taken off before, but there's a small clear film right on the front and you just pull that off and voila. That's your new keypad. So you're going from something like nasty and broken to this. To let you guys know, we've had this, how long have we had this thing, babe? About two and a half or so years. Two and a half, three years. And this is overuse. I mean, this is, as full timers, this is use like every day, multiple times of the day. I lock the door when I walk Lily. I mean, and it gets yeah, used so, constantly. Yeah, so Renee, when we all walk Lily or we're just going around the RV park after dinner, we lock it. So we're hitting the two buttons to lock all the time. So this is multiple times a day pressing. So you can find these at rvlock.com and they are roughly about $12. $12 is not bad to spend for roughly about two years use, especially being outdoor in Florida most of the time. So that's it for this quick, short, to the point video of replacing the keypad on our RV lock. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and the bell notification because we have a lot more videos coming up. 
And um, if you're having a hot time in your RV like we are, make sure you hit this playlist because we have tips to how, keep, how to keep your RV cool in the summertime. Now, next video, you want to stick around for Monday because we are finally going to talk about our internet and how we solve that problem. We'll see you guys next week. Drive safe.